Photographers could never trick a woman into marrying them, and they know this, so they spend countless nights coming up with impossible mathematical solutions to problems nobody even had. Still, we have a genre of fun photography with confusing numbers that need wrath. Why the numbers? All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. So in the first video of this series, we tackled sensor size confusion. Just the numbers, you've never, why the brackets everywhere? One inch sensor, that makes sense. And then you got one over 2.3. Numbers you can't even picture in your mind. Just to laugh at us. There's no logical explanation for it, but these are what we have. Some, it was a logical joke. Logical wasn't practical joke. And we're the butt of the end of it. A one over two, a half a, one over two point thirds, half a point three, four thirds, three fourths, I would understand. Oh, there's four things. We have three of them, but four thirds. Oh, we only use four of the three things. What the f So go watch that video if you haven't seen that. We went through all the sensor sizes, except the one at the end, and that's fine. So shutter speeds. You find yourself out in the forest. You want to freeze the action. A bird's about to fly off. Boom, you pick your shutter. I'll have a one over two thousandth. As if you could fathom what that means. Why the one? Why the brackets? Here's a shutter speed chart. If you go down to the bottom, the, the fastest you could ever shoot is 1 15th of a second according to this chart, and you should not even investigate it further. You cannot go slower. This chart said so. So that's one stop. The first stop. 1 15th. Then we're doubling it. 1 30th. Okay. Seems logical, even though I hate your math with the brackets. Unnecessary. Just have it 30th. 30th. Add the th. Add it in the menu system. Then 60th, okay. So we're logically doubling for some reason, but okay. 125 now. Why the five? Who added the five? Was it necessary? Did you not like that the next one would have been 240 and you're like, this isn't right? No. Or did you add five little ISO dials? Nodes, if you will. Just pissed me right off. And then it doubles and doubles and doubles and doubles logically. The only reason the first guy to invent shutter speeds changed it to 125 was so the next following ones could look neat and even. Else we would have been 240th, 480th, 960th. Just like the slow-mo frame rates. Huh? So shutter speeds, you suck. Unless this chart is wrong, of course. I'm basing every bit of my knowledge on this one chart. I did not even look to confirm it in another. Confirmed down below, 125th, your favorite shutter speed? Post it down below. So I already hate you, brackets, numbers, doubling. Next we have ISO. You find yourself one day thinking, I wouldn't mind being an alcoholic. I'm gonna go out night clubbing. I wanna bring my camera in case I see something funny. Now your camera's not so happy in the dark, is it? You have to raise your ISO. How much, you say? Well, the lowest ISO ever recorded in history is 25, even though I've never seen it. It could be happening. 50, I've never seen that either, but okay, I'm sure it exists somewhere. So we have this ISO number that again doubles. Photographers love their doubling numbers. What I'm mad at is why so high these numbers, well, can't you just be like one, ISO one, and then ISO two? Oh, I never shoot above ISO six. That's a little high. That's a logical leap. Why the hundreds here? 200, 400, 1600, 3200. What's my ISO at? Can I change it? I'm changing it. Here's 100, 25, 60, yeah, third stops. So 1,600, that's too much. 1,250, 1,000, decent. 800, no. 1,000, bit overexposed, but people are beautiful when they're brighter. They do less bad things at night. 640th of a shutter, 12,800 ISO. 
This isn't even a dual netted ISO camera. Why are we doing this? I've wasted at least 18 seconds. Point is, your numbers are too high and they annoy me. 102,400? You can't even logically picture it. That should be 10. Like, whoa, 10? You shoot at ISO 10, that's really high. Are you sure? Is it usable? It isn't. Easily the most annoying thing ever created by a photographer is the toniatures, which decrease in size the bigger the number. Here we're at a Tony 2. I'm just gonna make it smaller. Oh, that's better. Tony 16. Yeah, that's that's a logical flip. Here we are at Tony 22. Not much light coming in. I better lower the number of lights coming in to 2. And then it's much more light. 2 is more than 22. Why do you do it, photographers? It's You should be arrested. That's all I know. I did not change my shirt. This is not a separate day. You think I forgot this segment or something? As if this important segment of Tony Chur's decreasing in size was left out by me. You think I just finished the video and uploaded the thing? When it comes to the ton of steps, Tony 1 is the lowest we can go on the lingo. What is that fucking thing called? That game? Limbo. Where you bend your back and you walk under a stick. What is the point of that? Who invented that? Smarter people than photographers. At least it's one stick. It's not a quarter of a stick. I actually, I see the pattern. I see it now. It doubles every other stop. Oh man, that's logical. People make such a fuss about a 1.2 lens. It's only a third of a stop. If it was a foot. Less, more than a 1.4. Give me a break. I think these numbers need a revision. But the problem is we're all used to these stupid bullshit numbers that we can't change now. We're stuck in this useless system that was invented by cavemen who don't even know how to make pickles. They haven't even got to, this is how you make pickles yet. And they're making cameras. 1.4, like you'll never, it should be one, two, three, four, everything. I'm at shutter one, ISO one, aperture one. That's all wide open, too bright. Okay, stop down to ISO 4. I mean, oh, I've confused my own self. That would have just brightened the image. It was already overexposed. How am I gonna sell it? Even though these numbers are very confusing, I wanna thank the photographers, the pickleless cave photographers who invented this genre that we speak of. It's so fun taking pictures. Love that. Took a picture of a hair on the other day. Look at him. He's happy. 12 megapixels. That stands for million pixels, by the way. Sorry about that. I'm slowly zooming for dramatic purposes. Thank you, photographers. We're at the end. Canon for life. And don't even get me started on T-stops being different than F-stops. Oh, well, it's a F1.4 lens. Oh, what's the T-value? Oh, well, it's actually 1.6, 1, 1. but you know, the T-values versus the F-values, you know how that could get mixed up sometimes. Like, they're the same thing it's measuring, but it's different. The F-stops measure light and depth of field. The Tony stops measure light and then more accurately, the depth of field, because they're accurate. F stops are a lie. Frank made them, Frank stops. So photographers, you suck. Hopefully one day we abolish that system and move on to a new light. All the old photographers right now will be too confused to continue the video. I thought it was 1.4. ISO 3, uh, I can't adapt. And then they'll all die out like the fake dinosaurs have on our flat earth. I'm gonna leave. We learned. We learned quite a bit today. We learned that Canon 60 Mark II is the best, and that we should all go to Camera Canada tonight to prove that. And I'm out. See you later. Oh, God. What happened there? Nothing. Just a slow, easy adjustment. Because Canon 60 II is full frame, and that's what you want. That's what you want. Um, where are we at? It's full frame. 
Oh, come on, man. Oh, Cannon, why do you do it? Are you at the max? You can't see a damn thing. That is the max. 25,600, you can't even see it. Are the shadows clean? I do believe they are. This was a waste. 